today's video, I'm gonna show you the best way and simple way to test your internet connection. And guys, you won't believe it. Let's analyze some things here. And this happens all the time. You Google speed test. You click on the first one, click to begin. And let's see how my internet is doing. I will show you the best way in this video. And some people might even get upset with me. But pay attention to what I'm going to show you in the end. As you can see here in this website, my download got close to 100 MB and my upload as well. That's not my internet speed in full. And that's the problem with those websites. We are going to go back on Google here and click on the next one and check again. You can compare with the first website and see the difference in speed. Internet speed tests can provide different results depending on various factors. And this one didn't got so different, but my upload here got close to 100, different to the other one. So each internet speed test may use servers located in different geographical regions. So the farther away the servers from you are conducting the test, the higher the latency and the lower the perceived speed. So therefore, test results from sites with servers closer may appear fast than those from sites that has distant servers. So the processing power and the band capacity of the servers used by the internet speed test sites can also vary. So some sites may have more powerful and well-connected servers and capable of handling a large number of simultaneous tests which can lead to more accurate and consistent results. So therefore, when interpreting speed test results, it's important to consider that these factors it's important to consider these factors and perform multiple tests at different times and on different sites to obtain a more accurate and picture of the actual speed of your internet connection. And I will also leave here a video in the description and on the final screen showing you to how to remove the internet limitation. The internet may be very good, but there are things preventing from reaching its full potential. So we did several tests and we can also test another one. Just click in another one here and it will probably give a different result and the speed you contracted is none of them. But now I'm going to show you the best way to check your internet speed. You look for a site, some file and you're going to download some file. I already have one file to download here. I'm going just to plug it. Then you are going to press Ctrl J. And there you're going to see exactly your internet speed. Note here that it will show you the real speed of your internet. I already have 10 years of teaching computer science and I'm showing you the best way here. So don't use Wi-Fi. I always use a wired connection and because it's the real deal. Websites always provide variety but with a good download link for some file you're gonna see exactly your internet speed. After starting the download wait a little bit for it stabilize and you're going to see exactly the numbers instead of the variations. For me it's around 8 and 10 and it's accord with my internet speed because I have 100 MB. So to know you upload speed it's the same process but in this case you're gonna have to upload the file and you can use the retransferred or Google Drive. So if this video helped you please leave a like, leave a comment, if you are not subscribed please subscribe Stay tuned to the next video and I see you soon.